The management of Bank Easy repurchased its own bonds on the open market. They pay $6.5 million for bonds with a face value of $10 million and a carrying value of $9.8 million. The bank will most likely report. So there's a few things to note in here. The bank, so there's a bank is a company and they've issued debt. So the bank has actually issued their own bonds. And when they issue those bonds out to the market, the market has an amount they expect back on it. And they also there's also this amount that's on the books. The bank has repurchased those bonds on the market and brought them back, right? So they go out to the market, they buy them all up, and they bring them back. So they they, they don't owe any owe anybody any more money. Now, there's some factors that we have to uh, decipher through here. What is the amount that we're going to count as the net difference between what is on the books and what they paid for them? Right? There is a, a kind of a red herring here. The 10 million amount. This is the face value of the bonds. But you know what? Face value is not what we care about. We care about what is rep reported on the books. And these are recorded on the books at 9.8 million, all right? The carrying value, that's the amount on the books, is 9.8 million. So that's how much they have on the books as what they owe outstanding. And they pay 6.5 million for the bonds, all right? So they owe the market 9.8 million and they pay the market instead of that 9.8, they pay them 6.5. Does this happen? Yes. And if you're the company that does it, it's an amazing thing. It's basically a gain. You basically got money from repurchasing debt, most likely because your financials have gone out of whack. And it's not necessarily a good strategy to have your financials go out of whack. It's just not worth it for the repurchase of debt. But when it does, and you can repurchase your debt, you might as well and get it on the cheap. So here, the correct answer is C, gain. This one right here, C, gain. These other ones, other comprehensive income, uh, are just trying to be cute. Right here, these are just trying to be cute. Uh, the reality is, is it's a gain of 3.3 million on the income statement. It goes right on the income statement. It's an actual gain, not a paper gain, an actual gain because you won't have to pay 3.3 million where you would have otherwise if they were held into perpetuity.